The Yesterick collection is often mistakenly described as a futurist museum. In actual fact, uh, the collection contains work by a range of painters whose works had nothing really to do with the aesthetics explored by Marinetti's group. Um, and uh, works by painters who didn't want to reject the past entirely, uh, but rather to incorporate elements of Italy's artistic tradition into their works. Um, one such artist was Massimo Campili, um, whose work, Two Women, is uh, on the wall next to me here. Um, in actual fact, Campili was briefly associated with futurism, but just for a very brief time before going on to explore um, other aesthetics and artistic tendencies. And this was common to many um, artists at the time who formed part of Marinetti's group for a, for a brief moment. Um, Campili had a, a sort of moment of epiphany in the Villa Giulia in Rome in 1928 when he um, discovered the works of uh, Etruscan artists. And this sort of dialogue with antiquity, um, Etruscan art and Roman art, informed his work from that point onwards. He was a friend of Eric Esterich, and Esterich described uh, viewing Campili working in his studio, uh, applying layers of paint on top of each other and scraping them back with a razor blade to sort of build up this dense, abraded surface. Um, and this work, uh, Two Women, um, in actual fact, does um, sort of look rather like a sort of fragment of fresco uh, that's been detached from the wall. 